Today I'm going to show you how to dehydrate mushrooms using the Breeze Dehydrator. When it's mushroom season, dehydrating is an awesome way to make the most of all the varieties on offer and keep them for longer. Our mushroom powder has an awesome umami taste. It's the perfect way to add a boost of flavor to our cooking. So let's get started. All of these different varieties of mushrooms have a unique flavor profile, which will give our mushroom powder a more complex and robust flavor. So if you're going to make the powder, then we recommend grabbing a mix of varieties. All we need to do to prepare our mushrooms is to brush off any excess dirt with a clean cloth. Then we can slice them up and add them to the trays. We're going to cut our mushrooms now, keeping our slices to around three millimeters thick. For smaller or thin mushrooms like oyster or enoki, then you can actually just keep them whole. So all of my mushrooms have been sliced up now and I've got them on the trays with a little bit of space in between so that the air can flow through. We can stack our trays back up now and turn the machine on. Now you can set the breeze dehydrator to 65 degrees for eight hours. The mushrooms have been on for eight hours now, so it's time to take the lid off and have a look and see how they've gone. I can tell that these are ready because they're nice and snappy. If they're a little bit bendy still, or you can tell that there's still some moisture in the mushroom, then you can put the machine on for another couple of hours and that should do the trick. Once your mushrooms have dehydrated, you can put them into an airtight container and store them in the pantry. You can rehydrate them really easily by just pouring a little bit of hot water over them and then you can use them as you would normally. If you wanna keep them for a long time, then we would recommend vac sealing. For today though, I'm going to show you how to turn these mushrooms into a mushroom powder using the Vibe Blender. Dehydrating the mushrooms intensifies all of their natural flavors, giving them an amazing umami taste. Once we've turned our mushrooms into a powder, we can then use that powder to flavor things like stocks and soups. So all we need to do to make our mushroom stock powder is to put them into the blender jug and then we're going to pulse on nut mode until we get a fine powder. So that took hardly any time at all to turn all of those mushrooms into a fine powder. We've now got an amazing plant-based umami powder that will add instant flavor to your cooking. So that's how easy it is to dehydrate mushrooms using the Breeze Dehydrator. Mushrooms are in season right now, so it's the perfect time to grab some and give it a go for yourself. We'd love to know how you go in the comments below. Don't forget, as always, hit subscribe and like to see more Lavelli Life recipes, and we'll see you again next time.